got an in-person, in-restaurant drive through Thursday today, so it's not really drive through We are fast food reviewing today. You guys loved... I got it. Walk through Thursday. Walk through Thursday. You guys absolutely loved the um, experience we had at In-N-Out Burger with our uh, mystery drive through video that we did a few weeks ago. So we decided that we needed to come back, and specifically we're going to highlight the top secret menu items at In-N-Out Burger. There's quite a few. There's quite a few. You saw the basic uh, <laughs> burger and double double. Um, you've seen the menu. It's really, really limited. Yeah. Hamburgers, cheeseburgers, fries, shakes. But there's more secret stuff than there is regular menu stuff, right? Pretty much. It's just <clears throat> different ways you can combine things and special things you can add in. So right. We're going to break it down for you. So our main man at the drive through is not here right now which I'm kind of sad about. I was hoping to work with him again. Yeah, um, Stefan was a cool dude. He yeah. helped us out. Well, we're gonna get in there and order and show you guys the food, and that'll be today's video. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, let's go order and eat. All right, so, so here's the in and out Oh, look, 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 there's our guy. There's our guy right there. All right, so while Stefan has been awesome and the other staff in there has been awesome, apparently we crossed the line with filming in the restaurant. So we are filming the remainder of this video in the car so we don't get in full trouble. Um, thanks again, though. That dude, the cashier, awesome. Um, thanks I for helping. I catch his name. Um, Alejandro. Yeah, so thanks, Alejandro, for checking us out, helping us out, um, letting us mess with these orders and getting goofy with Who's his food. Alex? Or... Oh, it said Alex on his badge. Yeah. Because the name on the tag is Alejandro, so he probably goes by Alex. All right, so where should we start? All right, so let's, let's start with how you can amp up your basic burger. Okay. So basic burger they have hamburgers or cheeseburgers on the menu they go up to a double cheeseburger so if that's not quite what you want you can let's see let's do this one you can go with a grilled cheese now this is perfect for mr picky pants over there for me? huh it's did you perfect for people <laughs> who like bread and cheese do you want to take do you want to buy the grilled cheese do you want to eat any of that so it's literally just bun and cheese. Bun and cheese. You can get this with the produce on it. You can get it with tomatoes and onions and lettuce. I would like to take a tiny bite. Yeah, pass that back to Maddie. There we go. For the kids. So this is like, For the kids. this would be a vegetarian option. This is a no meat option. You can also go with a veggie burger, which is a bit of a misnomer since there's no burger. This is bun and veggies and cheese, right? This one is no cheese. This has got the special sauce, which is basically a Thousand Island with pickles, right? Right. Tomatoes, uh, lettuce, and there might be some onion in there, but it's basically, I mean, it's just, it's a pile of veggies with the sauce. Between some bread. You gonna do? You gonna take a bite of that one? I will take a bite of that one. Notice so I didn't offer. I like the veggies, but I also I like the meat. Yeah, I don't mind them either. It's it's not bad. I want another bite of blue cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just keep it. Work on it, okay? Okay. Oh, there's that. that. So it's a bit like a salad between two slices of bread. Right. So not good if you're low carb, but it's good if you don't eat meat. Would you like a bite? Sure. Other than the fact that it doesn't have meat. Okay, also now, now this one would be good. Are we gonna do this, that one next? You know what, we are maybe missing something. We are missing something, I'm gonna have to run back in. Okay, so where are we at now? Okay, so what did we talk about last? We, we had the- veggie, veggie burger. Veggie burger. Okay, so let's go with this one next. This is protein style. So this can, is- You've got meat, tomato, onion, and lettuce. You can get any of their burgers this way. Yep. It could be a cheeseburger, it could be a hamburger, it could be a double, it could be a triple, it could be 
bigger. A sandwich. But no bun. So this is good if you are watching carbs. I would like to take a bite of that one. Yep. And then... Alright, this is what got forgotten. And I was quite interested to try this one. This is the Flying Dutchman. Like, I'm not even sure how to show this one off. Yeah, I'll go like this. And it should stick because of that cheese. It's literally just... Two patties with two slices of cheese in between. Nothing else. That's it. He did offer me a fork to eat this one with. Nice. Because otherwise that would be kind of messy. <laughs> you can order a straight up burger patty with no seasoning at all. If you're riding with your doggy. Yeah, so then you got... They call it a Scooby snack or a Scooby patty. Cheese and meat, like literally probably the best part. Yep. Uh, grilled onions added to this and you're perfect. Yep. Here, do you want this one back? Hold on to it for now. If you would, do you have a hand or... You really I, don't. I stuck, you already have I the other one. I stuck my other one right there. Mm. Okay. Fantastic. They have <clears> really <throat> great cheese. Oh, um, excuse me. Let me write that one. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, you still working on your grilled cheese back there? Yeah. Good stuff, huh? You like that one? Okay, now on the menu, they have hamburger, cheeseburger, and a double-double. Double-double is two slices of meat, or two meat patties, two slices of cheese. Yep. You can add a triple-triple, or a four-by-four. Four. What do you think I went with? A four-by-four. <laughs> so this is four slices of cheese, four beef patties, with all the veggies, and then... John did get this animal style, which animal style means you're, they're going to take your meat, they're going to slather it with mustard before they fry it on their flat top, they add grilled onions and cheese and pickles. Their burgers do not normally come with pickles, but when you get animal style, you get pickles. Now, have you, if you have not ever tried flat topping your burgers at home on a skillet, on a frying pan, on a flat top, on a barbecue, whatever, you need to try that for starters. Second of all, what you do is you put that burger down on the on the flat top, get it going, and you just slather it in mustard. And even if you don't like mustard, it like transforms it somehow and it's no longer mustard. It becomes this meaty juice and right. deliciousness. Because then you flip it over and then that's, that mustard side goes down and it's in all that juice. The way it cooks up, it's fantastic. Magic. It's a good trick. I'll have to show you guys sometime so you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to... oh. Oh. Here, here, here. Oh, oh. Where did the napkins go? They didn't give us nearly enough napkins, darn it. I've, I don't know if I've ever eaten a 4x4 four four in the car. Yeah, not such a great idea. Um, that just leaked all down my pants. Good thing I covered the car seat. So you got to get the little diaper undone so you yes. can get in there for a big old bite. And <clears> this <throat> is big. This is like a monster burger. You don't need okay, anything ready? else with this. The big baby. Woo. I don't even know if you could even hold that up. Huge burger. But the amount of good beefiness in this and oh. the grilled onions, fantastic. It is so good. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to put it down for now. Right. And I'm going to pull out the last food item. So that was animal style on a burger. Now you can also get animal style. Fries. Animal style on your French fries. Check it out. <clears throat> you get your fries. Then they put slices of cheese on top. Then they put their special sauce and the onions. The only thing missing doing it this way is pickles. You can also get regular French fries, which you've seen. You can get the regular French fries cooked extra much so they're crispy. You can also get just slices of cheese put on right. French fries as well. So instead of getting all of those to show you, we just got the top. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> those look heavy. These are so good. So, These are my favorite. So if you're into the, the Thousand Island style dressings and the pickliness and the sauce, um, mm -hmm. that's where it's at. Animal style is the way to go at In-N-Out Burger. So the most expensive item that we've just showed you was the 4x4, and that is $6.45. Totally but for the size of the burger that's totally reasonable. reasonable. And everything is so fresh and prepared now. Fantastic. Even the animal style fries, those are $3.90. You know, when I'm showing them, I'm gonna pop them up. Yep. 
So that's it for the secret menu, which is not so secret. Uh, they've got keys on their keyboard even for it. Now, two things we've never ever ordered yep. are some secret drinks. Okay, I'll grab those. I'll take this back for now. Okay. So, they offer shakes in three flavors, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. The this cube? happens to be the... Okay, go ahead and tell them what that is. Root beer float. So you can take their vanilla shake and they will gladly and kindly add root beer to it. Yep. Come on. I'm going to try the shake. So these are these are not so great to show off because you know they're in a cup. Right. So you can get all three flavors, strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, in one shake, making it a Neapolitan shake. Pretty cool, right? You what? can also get any two combinations, strawberry chocolate, strawberry vanilla, chocolate vanilla. That's it. That's all the combinations. Yeah. But like, I, they're so incredibly accommodating here. Um, something we didn't show, you can add chilies. They have yellow chili peppers. You can get those chopped up and added to burgers. You can ask for your burgers to be cooked medium rare. That's good. You really do get all those flavors in there. <clears throat> Mm, that is delicious. Do you want to try? Wait, what flavor was it? All three. Strawberry, chocolate, oh, and vanilla. I didn't even try any of them. Mr. Float. Pass it back, Miss. There you go, dear. So, those are the secret menu mm -hmm. items. I think it's so fun to have things not listed, especially when you have such a simple menu to begin with. Right. Yeah, it's, it's cool finding those things, the twists, the abnormal... That's, we love doing that. So right. I know you guys are into this video. I know we got a lot of, of uh, comments that you guys wanted to see it. So I hope you do enjoy it. So make sure you smash that like button if you did. Um, anything else? One more thing I wanted to add today is a rainy day. And mm. on rainy days at In-N-Out, kids get free hot chocolate. Totally cool bonus. Uh, they get it with or without marshmallows. And yep. it's for kids only. Yep. Or the parents once you, the kids get it. <laughs> Really good. This is a good temperature. You'll be okay with it, James. There you go, dude. Good deal. So, out of all of that, which items would you try? We get animal style quite often. Occasionally protein style. But, like, the grilled cheese and the veggie burger, those I've never really ordered. I knew they existed. Yep. But I like the meat. I'm a 4x4 four four fan. Yep. Clearly. Alright, guys. Make sure you've done all the things. Like, subscribe, share. Yep. A little bit of a different drive through Thursday video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I know you do. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.